So reportedly, Randy Orton has been advised by his doctors to never return to the square circle. And that comes by way of his father in an interview with Sports Kita. But if you want to look at it in an optimistic way, if you want to look at the silver lining and all of this, his dad did say that Randy Orton is training, but I guess they have to wait and see how this develops over time. And in worst case scenario, Randy Orton is unfortunately going to have to retire. And this sucks for me because I'm a huge Randy Orton fan. When he first came to WWE, I didn't know what he was capable of. I didn't know what he was going to do but to watch this guy develop and mature over time in the ring and on the mic in these factions and he you know every time you watch this match you felt like he gave 100% in the ring and 100% in these feuds it didn't feel like he let off the gas at any point in time in his career and he's had this legendary career at the end of the day and then unfortunately in these situations people don't get to decide when they have to retire sometimes their body you know decides it for them which really sucks it really does and i know most of us you know we look at the positive we think about you know the fact that page came back uh edge came back you know brian danielson came back and things like that and that's great to be optimistic about it but there's sometimes some people don't get to return back to the thing that they love but i'm hoping i'm really hoping that randy orton gets healthy and able to come back to the ring but at the end of the day he does have to take care of his body some people don't really realize when it comes to these wrestling rings especially randy orton who has a finisher like the rko where he hits his back on the mat over and over his spine is hitting that back over and over which probably you know was the culprit for him having to have that lower back surgery that he recently got, which is why he's been out of uh, out of the ring and off the camera for the past couple months. He hits his back on that mat over and over and hitting the mat, it is not soft at all. You feel every single bump. And I know wrestling fans know this already, but there are some people who really don't know this because I took some bumps in one of the rings before. I wasn't a professional wrestler, but some of my friends who I knew put together wrestling rings for uh, certain independent promotions. They allowed me to take bumps to see how I feel and it doesn't feel good guys it's not like when you were a kid and you were resting on the bed and you could bounce back up and you could just walk around like nothing happened no you feel every single bump because all it is is a soft layer of cushioning on top of wood planks wooden planks and steel bars that's all it is even in wwe yes they do it the exact same way without you know some exceptions if they're outside and it's cold they may add some heaters to make sure it doesn't affect the planks you know it doesn't make the wood expand and retract in a weird way to where someone can absolutely get hurt but overall you feel those things and for someone like randy orton doing the rko every night on camera and including the house shows too hundreds of days a year back to back some days over and over back to back throughout the week doing rkos on top of those wooden planks over and over at some point your body can't take any more of that especially as you get older your bones are not going to heal the way that it used to your muscles are not going to repair itself like it used to let's say that this is his body and you know this is sorry this is the point of being healed all the way and this is his body so every time he takes an impact when he's younger it's going to go like this and come right back but as you get older, it goes further and further and further away to where your body is like, you know what, I can't take these hits anymore. And that's what happens where people have to get surgery. And eventually over time, you're gonna have to stop because you know when it comes to your back, when it comes to your neck, when it comes to any part of your body, especially your spine, you only can take so much damage over time. And as you get older, it just won't heal the way that it's supposed to heal. So at the end of the day, I'm hoping that Randy Orton heals up enough. It'll be great to see him back in the ring. But at the end of the day, with any sports, with anything that has, you know, that causes any harm or damage to your body, I would hope he would take care of his health first. I know I don't know him. I know people will say you shouldn't decide what he should do with his life. But hopefully he makes the right decision for his health because you only get one body. You only get one body and, you know, hopefully he makes that decision so that, you know, when his daughters, he has two beautiful daughters, when they get older, I'm sure he would love to be able to walk when he goes to their graduation, when he goes to their prom, when he goes to their wedding, you, you know, when it's time to take care of his grandkids, I'm sure he wants to have that mobility, you know, um, as time goes on. So hopefully he does make a decision to make sure that his health is pretty good. And, you know, you know, thank you, Randy. I don't know. You're never going to see this video, but thank you for this historic career so far. If this is the time that you do call it quits, if you don't call it quits, Hey man, let's finish up the storyline with Matt Riddle. I can't wait to see that happen too. But anyways, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty messed up news, but anyways, so what do you guys think about this entire situation? What's your favorite Randy Orton match of all time? Let me know in the comments section. I appreciate each and every one of you guys salute peace. Have a good day.